Hey, what's up you guys? It's Curious Owl here, and today I will be sharing with you guys LGBTQ plus authors that I would like to read. Now, this is not a comprehensive list as I had done with my authors of color list. I have since that video last week that I put up found several other books that are by authors of color that I will be adding to that list when I go to read my books in July. These are just the physical books that I currently have that are by LGBTQ authors or at least include LGBTQ characters. As there is, I believe, at least one book in this list where the characters are LGBTQ but the author may not be. I'm not 100% certain. And also some of these may overlap with the authors of color books that I had in last week's video because many of the books that I have thankfully are actually fairly overlapping with a lot of different things which makes me very happy because that means that I have found things that overlap in a lot of different minority based groups that I've been looking to read in in general. So as like last week, like I said, I do have some that are like on my Kindle or maybe on Audible that I currently have that I have yet to really go into. But once it gets to about July when I actually start reading a lot of books with these things, it's going to be a little bit more of a comprehensive list as opposed to these particular videos where I'm just going over the physical books I currently have in my TBR that are by these different groups of people. This week I also will be showcasing books that involve mental health aspects or physical disability aspects that I have currently, as well as books that are by trans, trans or non-binary authors that I will be looking to read. I will say though, just right off the bat right now, my trans and non-binary authors are very, very few. I think I may have two books that are by non-binary authors and that's kind of disappointing, but at the same time, I do not believe that there are very many non-binary authors I have heard of. And also at the same time, a lot of the ones I have are on my Kindle as opposed to physical books in my bookshop. But without further ado, let's get to the books that are specifically by LGBTQ IAP plus authors or involve characters on the spectrum. The first one I have is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. This one in particular is an LGBTQ characters story. It has a female female romance, I believe. I do not think that Natasha herself is somewhere on that, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. I don't follow her on Twitter to my knowledge and I've never seen anything from her so that's just what I'm going with. I have three books by the same author and this is going to be a really good month I think for me to read these books because I've been meaning to for so long and I don't know why I haven't yet but that is Victoria Schwab. So I have City of Ghosts which is her middle grade book. I have uh, yeah, uh, Darker Shade of Magic which is the first book in the uh, Shades of Magic series and The Savage Song which is the first book in the monsters duology i can't remember what they're called song songs of monsters something like that it's a duology that involves like a demon or a monster of some kind but i have heard so many good things about victoria schwab's writing that i feel like i have to include her in this next month because not only is she an lgbtq author but she does i think involve something to that effect in her characters or in her world at the very least so that makes me very happy and I've heard very very good things about her fantasy work in general. So I do have four poetry collections by one author that I have become very much a fan of over the last few months and that is Amanda Lovelace. These are the four collections that I own that I have not read as of yet. I have read her second collection which was The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one and I also read Break Your Glass Slippers I, which is her newest collection. I read both of those in April for the Owls and so these are the ones I have as of yet that are by her. I have The Princess Saves Herself in this one, the very first collection that she ever put out. Her third collection, The Mermaid's Voice, is in this one. And then her two other hardback collections, which are To Drink Coffee with the Ghost and To Make Monsters of Girls. I really like her light writing a lot and I love how it touches on so many different things about womanhood and about being a woman in today's society. So I'm very excited to continue working with these poetry collections and because they're also very short it'll make it for a lot more reading to be done over the course of the month. And then I have two books by the same author that I also have grown to really like but I've only read one of his books so far and would like to read more of them and that is Adam Silvera. I have Histories All You Left Me and They Both Die at the End which are two books I've heard a lot of really good things about. Partic in particular They Both Die at the End. Both of these include um, characters who are somewhere on the LGBTQ spectrum whether they're bi or gay. Now like I said I have more that might be on my Kindle but those are the physical books I currently own that are by LGBTQ plus authors. If you have suggestions for books that contain either LGBTQ characters 
or books that are written by own voices LGBTQ authors, please feel free to add them in the comments below. I will see if I have them on my Kindle. And if not, they will be books that I will be hoping to purchase in the next few months after I've gone through all of the books that I currently have on my shelf that are from this particular group of people, as well as all of the author of color books that you will see on my shelf. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.